This is a Porsche 718 Cayman and this is an Aston Martin GT8. Today we're going to put these two cars through challenges to see which of these two very different coupes comes out on top. Engine activate. I've got a 2 litre turbocharged Porsche and you've got a 4.7 litre dirty old V8 in that Aston. <laughs> Pardon, can you repeat that? I didn't hear. Dirty old V8. <laughs> so I've got 440 horsepower, but I am pretty heavy. Uh, I'm 1500 kilos. We both got manual gear sticks, which is quite nice nowadays, isn't it? I don't even know how to use this. As our viewers may know, you've won the 24 hours of Nürburgring GT3 race a few times, so you, you're quite comfortable having the stability control off, right? Yeah, that I'm fine with. It's, just, it's been a while since I've used a proper H pattern. I'm used to flappy paddles. All right, well, I've had a shave to make myself as aerodynamic as possible, so I'm ready when you are. Despite the Aston costing three times what the Porsche does, this should be close. Both cars are rear-wheel drive, manual, and running similar tyres. But the Aston does have 140 horsepower more, but weighs 100 kilos more, so really it's down to getting a great start. on the left hand side of you. I, I thought I got quite a good start. I got a bit of wheel spin, but uh, then I looked across and you, you'd gone. This had so much traction off the start. In my practice runs before, I actually struggled with it bogging down, but I did slip the clutch a little bit then and it, it really went well. I beat you with over 100 horsepower less. Both cars got a decent start, but the initial lead was too much for the Aston to gain back. If you want to come and join us driving one of these fantastic cars on the drag strip in a race against me, make sure you subscribe to the Driven Media channel as we'll be picking one lucky subscriber to come and join us for a day of filming. Okay, I'm not feeling too positive about this. And I had reason to be unsure. This Porsche has over 100 horsepower less and the weight difference tends to matter less on rolling starts. I'm going to have to be pretty quick changing into a... Uh... Second here, I think. I'm already at four and a half thousand. Go! Oh! Oh, I hit the limiter. Ah, oh, he's just got the legs, that V8. 125. Fifth gear. 110. Oh! <laughs> that was quite a victory for the, uh, the old Aston there, Adam. What speed did you get up to? I think I saw 156. I got up to 140. So what we're gonna do next, we've seen how the cars perform in a straight line, the power runs. Now we're gonna do braking. In the UK, the cars have to pass a test where they stop from 70 miles an hour down to zero in less than 75 meters. But we're gonna incrementally increase the speed until we get up to that 75 meter mark to see which car slows down the quickest. Oh, not bad. Yeah, I'm a bit too heavy. Too much lunch. Let's give it a go again. Let's go faster. 80, 85, what do you reckon? Should we just go straight to 90? All right, let's do 90. Do 90. Oh, I've got it again. And we've still got quite a distance to go before we get to that 75 meters. So shall we go to 100? The initial brake, I don't know whether I just braked a fraction early, but actually I thought, oh, it's holding its own, but then the weight just too much at the end of the braking zone. <laughs> okay, so we've both gone past the 75 meters, which means that we should be able to drive at about 105 miles an hour on the public road because we can then stop within the legal limit. So that's victory for the Porsche, probably because it's lighter but also because of the driver in, in the cockpit as well. You're better at going slower. <laughs> yeah. So Adam, we've got the moose test next. Basically, we stay at a static speed. We lift off when we go into it. We turn left, we turn right. Basically, it shows how good the cars are at changing direction, how much grip they've got. So what do you reckon, the Aston or the Porsche? Well, this is bigger and heavier. So I think you'll be able to 
be a bit more nimble through the cones, but I've got slightly bigger tires. Just want to say a quick thanks to Hunique for lending us these cars today, the Porsche and the Aston Martin. They are a supercar storage and transportation company. So if you have a supercar that you want transporting, check out Hunique, who are linked in the description below. 40, 40, 40, lift, left, right, and through. Oh, that was so close to the cones. It's so twisty and tight. It's really awkward to do. Uh, lift. Uh, uh. What was that? Oh no, I got a cone. No, I got two. There we go. That was better. That was better. How did it feel? Was it sliding at all? No, but I had to be a lot more aggressive. I had to be like, I felt like I was analog. Literally, I just had to whack 90 degrees on, straighten up 90 degrees the other way. Whereas before I was just too smooth. Right, okay, here we go, here we go. So each cone you knock over is a tenner. Actually, make it 20. That was pretty good. I feel like we need a speedo in his uh, car just to like double check that he is doing 45. <laughs> Oh, no! That was 43. I think I've pushed a cone. 20 pounds to me. Oh, so close. Go on, then you go down, Adam. Try 45, see if you can get through. When you said, oh, we'll go 43, I was thinking that's only three mile an hour difference. That's nothing. But actually, it makes such a difference. I, I'm pretty certain I'm going to take everything out right now. Oh, no! <laughs> Whoa, hang on a minute. What happened there? I just understood there's no chance I was getting through that second bit without wiping the cones out. Okay, so we've both got through at 43, but we can't do 45. I'm gonna have a second go. Ah, oh, so close. Oh, I munched a cone then. Absolutely munched it. Oh no. I've got no chance. As soon as I t do the second steering input, I get understeer and then I'm just out of position for the next one. I just get too much push. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting actually, because this is limited by the rear of the car. Really interesting. So after those four challenges, the Porsche won on the quarter mile, but the Aston leveled it after the flying mile. The Porsche won on the brakes and both were tied through the moose test. So the underdog Porsche won. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> If you want to find out what's quicker, this Honda NSX or this highly tuned Audi TT RS, click on this video.